Okay, in chapter 11, you have learned how to write equations. Equations tells the number ratio of reactants to react completely in a reaction. For example, when H2 reacts with O2 to give H2O, uh, the equations can be written like 2H2 plus O2 to give 2H2O. This is what we have learned in chapter 11. So the number here, 2, and here missing the 1, tells you when we need to have the H2 react completely with the oxygen, then we need to have 2H2 to 1O2 to give the 2H2O. So actually this tells you the number ratio of the reactants. In doing experiments, that's why it's important for us to know the quantity, okay, the quantity of a substance. In this chapter, we are going to talk about how we can count the numbers of the, quanti uh, the quantity of the substance. So in daily life, some special units are used to describe the quantity of items, like um, socks are paired in pairs, eggs are often packed in thousands, so these, num these special units actually represent number. Pairs represent 2, dozen represent 12. And papers are often packed in rims. So one rim of paper refers to 500 identical sheets of paper. So rim is actually called the quantity units of a substance. Unlike socks, eggs, and papers, particles are too small to be seen. So that's why it is impossible for us to count them one by one. That would be a huge number. We will use a special unit called mole it's the, uh, to describe the quantity of particles in a substance. So the number of atoms in exactly 12 gram of carbon 12, the reference unit for the mole is 6.72 times 10 to the power, child, uh, 10 to the power 23. That is the exact number that presents, the exact number of particles present in carbon-12 uh, elements. We call it Avogadro constant, that is because it is uh, discovered by Avogadro. But don't ask me what, how uh, he can discover the, the kind of number of the carbon-12 atoms. Okay, I was told uh, it, he can't it under the microscopes. But uh, that would be uh, the details. I do not know much, but I just know that all the chemists will refer to this number as uh, in counting how much reactions they need for the reactions. So one mole of any substance, or right, one mole, just like one dozen equal to twelve. Then we after we have defined how much one mole represents. That is six point seven zero two times ten to the power twenty three. Then we can do some simple counting. But why common 12? That is just for convenience. So common 12 has 6 protons and 6 fusions. So we can easily assign the relative mass of proton and the relative mass of neutron to be 1. Right? So that we can use mass number to help us to figure out the mass of one more substance. Let me give you an example. Mass number of sodium is 23, so we do not need to count the number of protons and neutrons here because their mass is equal. Then we can just directly say that the mass of one mole of sodium is equal to 23 gram. We reference to the common 12 standard. Okay, we know we have defined that uh, one mole of carbon has 12 gram and there are 12 protons and neutrons in carbon, so by ratio 12 to 23, then we will have this mass. So we call this mass is um, under the scale of carbon 12 standard. Actually, when we measure something, there must be a standard. For example, how, how heavy is one gram? We must divide it by some reference weight. And how long is one second? We must divide it by one uh, some uh, what so, uh, a particular time of uh, an action. Okay, I will tell you later what it is. 
So let's look at some context, simple context example. A pure substance has a formula, like water, you have H2O, copper, Cu, carbon, uh, C, sodium chloride, sodium chloride. So since this is the smallest uh, formula unit in water, so we will say that in one mole of water, it contains 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 H2O molecules. One mole of copper metal contains 6.7 uh, CO CO2 times 10 to the power 23 Cu atoms, etc. So now it comes to a more difficult question. You need to know that look that the number of substance changes. If the content unit changes, what is a content unit? Here, molecules is a content unit. We count the substance uh, one by one by the molecule. Okay, so we need to count one H2O as one. Right, so that's we we have uh, 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 H2O this substance. But how about the atoms? Right, when we change the counting unit to atom, then we need to change the number again because one H2O molecule has three atoms. So actually we need to multiply 3 to the 6 to the 6 point CO2 times 10 to the power 23 atoms. That will be 1.81 times 10 to the power 24 atoms. So in this kind of questions, I would like to use a box. If I use a box. In a box I have three atoms. Or I have three atoms. If I need to have three boxes and find out how many blue balls I have, then I can think of one box that I contain two blue balls. So that's why three boxes will have three times two and uh, times two blue blocks uh, blue balls that will be the, uh, that will be equal to six blue balls. How about if I have three moles boxes? So how many blue balls that I have? That will be the same. Okay, that will be six moles blue balls. Okay, you get the point. You should have used that box to think about the simple counting first. And then after I get the answer, I just add the mole there. Okay, because the ratio should be the same. Okay, we will do more exercise during the lessons.